you opted for a career in engineering in tropical agriculture. Why uh, this particularized choice? What inspired this particular choice? Okay. Um, shortly after I uh, graduated at Cambridge, um, it was it was just just at at the end of the war, and servicemen were coming back from the forces. There were no jobs, no jobs at all, even for uh, uh, graduate engineers. So I then uh, served an uh, an apprenticeship. After I came back here, we worked on the design of the um, landmark tractor. Uh, I developed that and started marketing that from Britain worldwide. Degrees are okay, they help, but ultimately what is employable is your skills. All the, the, the skills in what you do, and you learn the skills from people who are masters. Mm. And like Sir Geoffrey de Havilland, a master in, in aircraft design. From, from Harry Ferguson, um, all the, the tractors. All the parties attracted, but more. The, the appreciation of the agriculture for which the tractors are used. used. First of all, you have to understand that subject first before you start applying engineering or machinery to the, to the actual agriculture. Everybody makes this mistakes. It doesn't matter. Accept that you make a mistake, you've made a mistake, rub it clean, say that's a mistake, let's put it right. Mm. So I learned the hard way to plow behind a buffalo. And I spent many long hours plowing, puddling fields, and you le really learn your agriculture at the back end of a buffalo. Mm. And I thought this is terrible. I must make a machine to, to do this. And that was the time that I had worked with Harry Ferguson, four-wheel tractor. Mm. I thought, ah, oh, we must make a small tractor to, to, to work in the field. No. Now I know that, that that was a big mistake. We've gone way beyond that. But at that time it sounded very sensible. So we made the tractor, a very small one, two wheels with the plows and the harrows and the cultivators and the threshes and the harvesters. Nobody wanted these things here. They were rather hot on the They were rather the cave. Right. Imported. Imported. Mm. So when I took, I made a film of the whole thing. And I took this to Britain, showed it to people. I said, fine, fine, we can, we can market this worldwide. And so from Britain, we set up manufacture and marketed it worldwide. And would you believe it, my uh, biggest market was in Japan. Malaysia, India, Pakistan, Philippines, Japan, southern China, all over the states. We had a branch factory in, in America, another branch factory in Australia. We were in South America, Africa, all over. Ex exporting to all those countries and then gradually the Japanese markets took over tremendously subsidized on their export schemes which, which we, we manufactured from Britain couldn't cope mm -hmm. with. Sir Jeffrey de Havilland once told me you know very few people unfortunately can design aircraft build them and do all the test flying this old idea was very good because if you made a mistake you quickly eliminated, eliminated yourself. And you learned a hard lesson. You, just, you make a mistake, eliminate that person. There's no room for that, that kind of mistake. If you test it yourself. All our practices are highly erodible and we are losing soil at the rate of 100 to 200 tons of soil per hectare per year. Where is it going? Down the Mahavari, down the Kalani, all over the place. And that uh, fertility, we can't afford that. So we have to now come up with completely new methods of farming. And now we realize how er the early chain of farmers, the good chain of farmers, they knew what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And they, they on locked the trees, dropped the branch of the trees only. They didn't clear the forest. Mm -hmm. They only let the light through by lopping the branches. Mm -hmm. They didn't do much of a burn, light came through, they put the seed, immediate crop. Now what we're doing is to bring those old methods back. Mm -hmm. We are bringing trees back into tropical agriculture for weed management and for fertility. We can produce all our electricity not only from hydropower but by growing the trees to, to produce steam power, 
fuel, fuel wood and generate our own. And all our farmers can be brought back into, into the picture. Hundreds of thousands of acres of chena land, bushland can all be brought back, organizing farmers to grow trees, feed those trees into decentralized power stations, all of them plugged into the mains, so the people become producers of power, power from the people. That's what it's about, Janasavya, mm. the power of the people. So, but we have to bring that back in engineering too, and not blindly copy the the old, the old ideas that we picked up from the foreign countries of a big power station at Kulinawa, another big power station at, at Trinkimali, strategically completely wrong. Generate all around the country with the, with the small people producing the power, small people using the power. My mother was a great out, outdoors person. My, my father, doctor, engineer, agriculturist, and a very uh, sincere Buddhist, and we were brought up in the in things like what, what how the Buddha taught about the basics uh, of science. Basics of science. I find myself totally involved with the with the water, yachting, rowing, totally involved with the air, and totally involved with, with the land, wheels, agriculture, machinery, and machinery and energy. Tejo is what is com combining all those all those together. How sensible it was thousands of, of years ago to have visualized this and you know explain science in a simple way. Any kind of memory that sticks out. <laughs> yes, um, even at at the age of seven years, I was mad keen about flying. I'd seen a, a picture of a of a parachute. Uh, early days, I was seven years old, and there was an arms giving going on at at our home, at at my grandmother's home in the in Kolopit here, and I saw all the Hamru's umbrellas outside. I took the umbrellas all, went upstairs to the top floor of the balcony, yes, opened them all and jumped out of the balcony. Of course, they all broke, the umbrellas broke. I crashed into the flower bed. Uh, the, the arms giving was all, all upset. I got a, a, a whacking from my father for having broken all the umbrellas. umbrellas. But I was thrilled. The first time I had flown, it was actual flight.